Hi everyone, welcome to Baishu's Chinese language learning program. Please let me introduce myself first. Ni hao, wo shi Baishu, hen gao xing ren shi ni. Hi, I'm Baishu, nice to meet you. I don't know how you think about learning Chinese. But many of my American friends said that learning Chinese language is very difficult and confusing. But just like an old saying says, you can eat a whole elephant, one bite at a time, right? Well, you can do the same thing with Chinese language learning. The first two bites we are going to take for learning Chinese language are pinyin and tone. Pinyin and tone are the two basic and also the most important components of Chinese language pronunciation. Chinese language learning is all about pronunciation. So, at the beginning of Chinese language learning, we are going to learn pinyin and tone. But we still have to take one bite at a time. That is why we need almost eight or nine lessons to finish the learning, learning of pinyin and tone. So what will happen after pinyin and a tone learning? After the learning of pinyin and a tone, Chinese language is no longer difficult and confusing, and you are going to be ready to learn words, um, sentence, reading, and anything else you want to learn. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's begin with pinyin now. What is pinyin? Pinyin is short for Hanyu Pinyin. It is the official phonetic system for pronouncing standard Chinese Mandarin characters. Pinyin pin means spell, yin means sound, spell sound. Pinyin is often used to teach standard Chinese and spell Chinese name in foreign publications and used as an input method to enter Chinese characters into computers. Why do you need a pinyin? Okay, let me give you an example. Do you know how to pronounce these two Chinese characters from what they look like? No, you don't, right? But if I put a pinyin for them, you will know how to pronounce them. That is why you need a pinyin for help. This is these two. Chinese characters. Okay, this is how pinyin works. Na yi ni he ao hao ni hao. So, it is very nice to have pinyin for help. Right? Okay, before we learning the pinyin, we have to know uh, two things about pinyin. The first one is pinyin is not English. Okay. I know. When you see this Chinese pinyin table, you know every letter in this table, table right? <clears throat> but they are totally different from how you read in English. Okay, I will give you an <clears throat> example. Excuse me. This is my name. Okay, you can just use you know the English letter to pronounce my name. I don't know how to do that, but this is how pinyin works. Bo ai bai, xi yue xue, bai xue. This is my name. Okay. Bai means white, xue means snow. Okay, another example. Zao shang hao means good morning, but each character has its own mean, meaning. Zao means early, shang means above, hao means good, but they put together, that means good morning. Zao, the pinyin work, uh, will work just like this. Zi ao zao, shi an shang, he ao hao, zao shang hao. Okay, this is the first thing you need to know, pinyin is not English. The second thing you need to know about pinyin is Chinese character has only one syllable. Each syllable has three parts. For example, ni. First part is initial, n. Second part is final, e. And the third part is tone. This is have the 
uh, solitone. So put them together will be ne yi ni. Hao, initial, he, final, ao, and a tone. This is also the solitone. So put together will be just like this. He ao hao, ni hao. So you may notice that initial is consonant and the final is a vowel. Okay, let's move on to tone. There are four types of tone in Chinese language. Okay, this is a four tones. The first tone you pronounce just like flat. Second tone you pronounce going up. The third tone is going down and up. The fourth tone you going down. So please let me use a ah as an example to pronounce the four tones. A, 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 A. See, they are totally different, right? Why are tones so important? Because different tones with the same syllable can have different characters and different meanings. Okay, let me give you an example. We can see this table. From this table, we can see we have the same P over here, but Z are with different tones. Okay, the first one with the first tone, the pronunciation should be just like this. Mo a ma. This is a character for ma. It means mother. The second one with second tone, pronunciation is just like this. Mo a ma. This is a character for ma. It means hemp. The third one with the third tone, its pronunciation is just like this. Mo a ma. Ma. This is a character for ma. It means horse. The last one with the first tone, its pronunciation is just like this. Mo a ma. This is a character for ma. It means goat. See, from this table, we can see the same pinyin with different tones. They have totally different characters and uh, totally different meanings. So that's why tones are very important. OK, please let me give you more examples about tones. The first one is my uh, own experience. I remember when I helped my Bible study teacher learn Chinese. Um, she is very, is very beautiful and a sweet girl. I really like her. One day we were met and uh, she asked me a question. This question really surprised me. Okay. Her question is, 我可以吻你一下吗? Yes, this sentence means, can I kiss you? So, I just um, uh, didn't respond. But he kept asking me this. 我可以吻你一下吗? So, this time I had to do something about this question, right? I asked her back, do you really want to kiss me? <laughs> she was surprised at that moment, you know. But at that moment, when I saw her face, I know what was her question. Her question was, 我可以问你一下吗? This sentence means, can I ask you a question? See, only this one character with different tone, they can make this whole sentence very different. Okay. Wu and wen, the wu and wen, they have the same pinyin, but this one have the fourth tone. Wu and wen, this one have the third tone. Wu and wen, wen means ask, wen means kiss. So you have to be very careful with tones. Okay. The second example I heard from my friend, or I read in the book, I, I don't remember. Okay, a gentleman went to a Chinese restaurant. He asked the waitress for dumpling, but his question is very, you know, funny. Okay, this is his question. He asked the, the waitress, 小姐, 睡觉一晚多少钱? 
<laughs> yes, this sentence means how much it will be if I sleep with you for one night. Okay, the witches felt very embar embarrassed because this question is not, you know, normal things for order anything to eat. But the gentleman didn't know what's wrong with this, this question. He just uh, kept asking the witches. 小姐,睡觉一晚多少钱? So everybody in the restaurant laughed at him. So this gentleman discussed this question with other people. Finally, all the people in this restaurant finally knew what's his question, you know. Okay, this is what he wanted to ask. 小姐,睡觉一晚多少钱? How much is it for a pot of dumplings? Yes, you see the sentence totally different, right? They have the same pinyin but with different tones. 睡觉,睡觉, 睡觉 with a short tone means dumpling. 睡觉 with a first tone means sleep. So that's why I say you have to be very careful with the tones. Okay. Uh, now, how are you feeling about the Chinese learning? Do you think it is funny? Uh, think it is still confusing? Are you freaked out already? Okay. Trust me, when you get used to pinyin and tones, you will learn Chinese language very fast and very good. I can promise you. Okay, I think that's all for today. We will learn consonants and vowels on our next class. Okay, 谢谢, thanks, and 再见, bye, I'll see you next time.